know when I'm ever going to meet this guy again. So as he, you know, we went to tacos 1988 and as he got in the car and the valet pulls up, I go, Hey, good. You know, I didn't want to be the fanboy guy, but I was like, Hey, congratulations on getting that star Wars gig. And he's like, Oh yeah, thanks Dave. And then the guy's giving him his keys and he's about to drive off. And I go, yo, put some fucking street art in star Wars. And he's like, what? And I was like, the Alliance, the rebel Alliance, the, you know, like every time in history, the Great Wall, Russia, Vietnam, it doesn't matter. Anytime there's a war anywhere in the world, there's there's art, rebellious art, right? There's posters, there's graffiti of saying like, fuck the system, fuck the man, f- down with the, you know, whatever. I'm like, in Star Wars, you have like Nazi type characters, you have all this like fighting and there's no, there's no like graffiti. Mm. And he goes, you're right, Dave. That's a very good point. Yeah, and he goes, you're right, Dave, and you should do it. And I had just had my kid and stuff, and he's like, I'm like, dude, I'm not trying to look for work right now. I'm just saying someone should do that. And he goes, you're right, and it should be you. And I was like, fuck, man. So I get this, you know, and it was fun for me. And I went, and I was like, I went hardcore nerd. I was like, okay, Jawas are like this tall, so the graffiti would be like this, and Luke Skywalker would not be known on this side. So I'm like learning the Arabesh language, the Star Wars language. And I'm layering the graffiti so it would be accurate. Like, I'm, like, going total nerd. And and he goes, all right. And he tries to pay me. And I go, dude, I haven't gotten a paycheck in, like, 10 years. Like, I can't. I don't want to get paid. And the guy at Lucasfilm is like, you don't want to get paid? Like, you're going to get paid a lot of money for this. I go, I, I don't I don't, I don't, want to f- fill out taxes for this shit. Like, I don't work. Like, I'm, I'm jobless. And he goes, you're the first person that's ever denied a check from <laughs> Disney. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm not. And then I go, put me in, coach. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, put me in, for, like, just so I could tell my friends and shit that I was in Star Wars. <laughs> and and so eight hours of makeup, uh, eight hours of fucking makeup. Wow. <laughs> Look at that shit. Like, fucking prosthetics, you know. So I have, like, I have one second of screen time. That's like the camera panning, you know. And I had to do make, and they, you know, they put like paint speckles, like they made it look like I was the guy that actually did the graffiti and, you know. Oh. Uh, So this is the first time I'm on TV acting, like not as me. So I go home, I write a short story about my, the backstory of my character. And I go, oh, it's too boring for me to scream in English. I'm going to learn Huttese, job of the Hutt's language. So I'm, I'm out there. I got five pages of dialogue, like we're at a gambling rig. We're um, betting on Gamorrean guards fighting. So it's like a fight scene. And it's like, fuck him up. Fuck him up, Chris. Like, like all that. And I'm saying it. Michu Jujuma na chaka tupu. Ah! And like, everyone's like, uh, dude, you're a fucking extra that's in here for one <laughs> second. And no one asked you to learn Jabba the Hutt's language. And, you know, but I didn't know how to not go hard, you know, with it. And then. Um, so did they tell you to not do it? They didn't, they're like, I'm, so I'm like, I'm the extra hanging out there and I go, hey, just like, I know like, you know, this is just me being me. I'm like, I'm not trying to get more airtime or whatever, but I did write a backstory of how I ended up in a game. I am a gambling addict. This is how I ended up at a Gamorrean guard gambling thing. And I give it to John Favreau and, uh, and Dave Filoni, who are like the, the showrunners. And they're like, um, yeah, we'll get right on that, Dave. Ah! <laughs> so that's hilarious. So I'm like, wow, I'm not. Like, I went kind of all in. Like, I wasn't, you know. So, anyways, it was enough. I was like, that was great. Then I get a call one day from Ali Wong and Steve Yun at the same time. They're on this new show on Netflix called uh, Beef from A24. And they say the same thing. They go, Dave, have you ever thought about acting? And I'm I'm like, I'm like family, dude. I'm like chilling, trying to figure out how to get to Africa. Like, I'm not trying to trying to do this. And and I go, what's the part? And they're like, well. It would be filming in LA. It'd be for like three months, and you'd be playing an angry Korean guy. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, ah, well, is that is that how you guys see me? You know, <laughs> I'm like I'm pretty, I'm like pretty chill. You know, like 